Hey guys, what's up? My name's Alicia. Welcome if you're new here. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. In today's video, I wanted to introduce a series that I'm going to be doing on my channel this week that I hope all of you guys are going to be interested in, and it is a week of unearthly cosmetics. If you are not familiar with these palettes, you are missing out. This is an indie brand, and she like hand presses these palettes, like she does the formula of the eyeshadows, like it is like a one person operation to my knowledge, like I messaged the brand and I was talking to the owner directly, so um, I guess it's like a smaller operation, but these palettes are absolutely stunning. Ever since I purchased my first one, and I can't even remember honestly which one was my first one, but ever since I purchased my first one, I was hooked and then I wanted like every single one. The formula on these, the packaging on these, everything about it is like top notch, highly recommend. And yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to showcase this brand on my channel. So I am really excited about it. I have been doing my makeup addict project still. I've still been keeping track of those. I've been doing really, really good. This is actually the first like break I'm taking from that project. And it's because I have a lot of palettes that are new that I haven't used yet. All of these unearthly ones that I'm going to be mentioning this week, I have never used. So I'm trying to get use out of my palettes and that includes my new ones as well. So that is what we are going to be doing this week. I do want to just run you guys through what I have on my face. At the point that I'm filming this, this has been on my face for like 13 hours. I've already had a full ass day of work and yeah, this is what we're left with. I did get a lot of compliments on this eye look and this is the palette that I was using right here. This is the Lore palette if I haven't mentioned. I will have it linked down below in the description bar in case you're interested but I did want to go through the rest of what I had on my face as well because I have not been filming that much because I've been working insane, insane hours and I do master's classes so been a little busy but this is going to kind of be like a February favorites as well because I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been using lately so this is from Dominique Cosmetics this is the blur and moisture serum primer if you have dry skin highly highly recommend this Ever since I first used it, I think I've taken a break from this one day since I started using it. So I feel like that really tells you how good this product is. Um, during President's Day when there was like a sale going on, I had this in my cart ready to purchase a backup one already. And then I was like, wait, Alicia, do you really need a primer? I don't. I've got a drawer full of them, but this is so, so good. Speaking of so, so good, this is one of the best foundations that I think I have ever used. This is the Hourglass. This is the Soft Glow Foundation, the Ambient Soft Glow, I guess, and I have mine in 4.5. It is a frosted glass bottle, so it's not great to travel with, but it is absolutely beautiful. I love like the bronze metallic packaging. I think it is so beautiful, but better than that, this is so moisturizing. You need one pump of this, one pump to do your whole face. It is a thinner consistency, but I feel like it still has like a nice medium coverage. You could definitely build this up probably to like a full coverage, but I love it with just one. And then I will kind of spot conceal with this concealer. I keep going back to this one. This is like my second or third tube of this now. This is the One Size Beauty Turn Up the Base Concealer and my little thing rubbed off. I think it's R3 that I'm in but yeah this is so so good. I bought the Hourglass Vanish Concealer that everyone raves about. I used it probably three or four times and then I went right back to this one. So I think that says enough. And then I have been using this super cute Jouer 
powder. I love the little packaging that it's in. It's got its own little, you know, dust cover here. The packaging itself is stunning as well. This is the Radiant Translucent Powder. It does have a mirror in here and then this is the product itself. So I have just been lightly setting all over my face with this powder. Um, I pulled it out for Valentine's Day because I thought this reminded me of Valentine's Day. So, all right, for bronzer, I pulled out a oldie. So this is from NYX. This is the Matte Bronzer in Medium. I know that there are going to be people watching this that are like, oh shit, that is so old. Yes, it is. And it's still so good. And it's affordable and it's at the drugstore. I mean, what is not to love? I do have this on my face today. Like I said, this makeup has been on for a very long time. So don't judge it too harshly. But I still really love that. All right, for highlighter, I pulled out a loose highlighter, which I never use, but I pulled this out like a week or two ago, and ever since then, I have been using this like pretty regularly. This is from Artist Couture, and this is the Summer Haze color. Um, I'm pretty sure that this was exclusive to BoxyCharm. You guys will have to let me know if I'm wrong, but pretty sure that this was exclusive such a stunning color i know that doesn't help you if you don't have it but if you do have any loose highlighters from artist couture highly recommend pulling them out these are so smooth and they just look dewy like glass like on your skin all right and then for my blush i thought with this dress that i'm wearing today i could not not pick this blush this is Lines and Last Night by Marc Jacobs, and I don't know, I just thought it was so fun, and I thought it would go so nicely with this dress, which it really did. I love Marc Jacobs Beauty. I, again, I keep bringing it up. I am still so bitter that there is no more Marc Jacobs Beauty. They made some of my very, very favorite favorite products and I am happy that I do have them still but I know that doesn't help you guys. All right this is the setting spray that I have been using it's from Wet n Wild. This is the Peanuts Wet n Wild. It smells like peppermints. It is a nice mist. It fully saturates your face but so so softly and just like kisses your skin and yeah highly highly recommend this. All right and now Finally, we are at the part with the eyeshadow palette. So I do want to give you guys some swatches. I honestly cannot remember how much this is. I think it's around like 40 bucks. Again, I will have the details listed down below in the description bar. So just be sure to check there. But this is the Lore palette. Obviously, it has got Medusa on the front. It says um, Unearthly Cosmetics, Eyeshadow, and Pressed Pigment Palette. Ooh, sorry if that was blinding you guys. You open it up, you do have a mirror, and then inside, these pans are huge. This palette is actually kind of heavy, um, so it is like a more weighted palette. I love these shades. These shades are so stunning. Now today, I put this all throughout the crease. I put this like concentrated into the crease and a little bit in the outer corner. And then I blended this black on the outer and inner corner to do a halo eye. I put this all over the center of the lid and then I took this brighter orange again and with a really concentrated brush again just went right into the crease to kind of deepen everything up and I absolutely love the way that this came out. It was so easy to use and, and I just want to give you guys some swatches of this palette. All right, so here are the shades here, and you can tell, like, look at the shine on these colors. I think they are so stunning. This one is my favorite, and I haven't even used it, but this is the color Sphinx. I mean, look at that, and it could just keep going. Now, this one here is serpent then we have got the basilisk 
This one that I have on is called Griffin. And then lastly, this one's going to be very awkward to swatch, but this is the shade Medusa. All right, so here are the shimmers from this palette. There are five out of nine shimmers, so it's a pretty balanced palette as well. All right, and then I'm going to do a swatch of all of the mattes. This one I wore, this one does have a little bit of shimmer in there. However, you cannot see that when you put it on the eyes. Look at how smooth these are. Guys, this is probably literally the best black that I have in my collection now. Did you see how insane that is? And when I was using it earlier, I was like, oh my God, I put a little bit on my lower lash line. So intense, blended out so nicely as well. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, this is just a stunning, stunning palette. I feel like everything is pretty much everyday shades, except maybe these two. Everything else I feel like is very neutral leaning in this palette. I think this is definitely a palette that I can wear every day. I would have no issues wearing this every day. I think it would be so pretty just to put a little bit of this in the crease, maybe smoke it out with this black and put um, either Serpent or Sphinx all over your lid. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to go clean up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Coming up, the rest of them, I'll try to keep really short. I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to this series this week and then as well let you guys know some of the things that I was loving in February. I hope that you guys have a good day or night wherever you are. I hope you'll subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.